My grandfather purchased this farm in the late 1800s, but it had been in our family since uh, somewhere around the 1830s. He found that there was already an old sugar camp in the back and uh, all the equipment was there. And so like many other farmers in the area, he started making maple syrup. My son Jim is the one who does all the work in the woods uh, from sap to syrup. And because we are a large volume producer, especially here in Ohio, uh, everything he does back there goes into 30 or 40 gallon drums. The amount of sap we get out of a tree is strictly tied to the weather, but we hope for 20 gallons of sap or more per tree. Some years we've had as high as, as 35 to 40 gallons of sap. And the sap ranges in sugar content anywhere from 2% to 1%. And if it's 2% sap, it's close to 40 to 1. If it's 1% if it's sap, it'd be about 80 to 1 on your gallons of sap to a gallon of syrup ratio. First, we start by working tubing somewhere usually around December, uh, get the tubing ready to go, and then we drill holes in the trees, get the tubing hooked to the trees. Uh, as soon as it starts to freeze and thaw, then we go fix all the leaks in the tubing, and then we start pulling sap then we take it into the sugar house. We run it through a reverse osmosis process where we basically under pressure squeeze two thirds of the, two three quarters of the water out. Uh, and then we boil the, the remaining sap into syrup. Uh, we enjoy producing good maple syrup here uh, as many other producers across the state do. And it's great to have a local product that everybody enjoys. Uh, that they enjoy purchasing and have a place here at our store to come in and get it year-round. Uh, we also are able to take it to, uh, well right now, two farmers markets plus a couple special markets. 